Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, in today's tutorial, we will try to learn about uh, virtual screening uh, by using online platform that is MQ. MQ is a very important uh, platform. Uh, by using it, you can do multiple things. So what you will have to do, first of all, you will have to write on Google MQ. Then there, this tab will be open this page will be open if you you did not uh, use it before so you will have to create your account uh, on the MQ so for signing in <coughs> you will have to click over here and if you uh, you haven't any user uh, name or email ID or you didn't uh, create your account over here so you will have to click here sign up and then you will have to give your uh, email ID and username and first name last name organization industrial etc so you will have to uh, sign up this form or this page and then uh, they will make your account like I have already made my account so this is my email ID I have given the email ID <coughs> and the password so and when I will sign in over here so it will be look like that so this is the main uh, page of the MQ so first of all uh, this is the very important thing uh, MQ ultimate database of the hundred million synthetically accessible compound is now available so you can uh, virtually screen the compound and after if if you found uh, if you find good hits so you can uh, order uh, the compound accordingly as well so what is over here you can download the database uh, by clicking the first tab and then there is the hit identification so in uh, under the hit identification you have the virtual screening structure based virtual screening the ligand based uh, virtual screening uh, diverse library design customized uh, workflow workflow validation download database and then the next tab is uh, lead optimization uh, this is very important program that is one click docking and then uh, scaffold HOP property calculator uh, toxicity checker then find chemical the list the single query uh, multiple etc etc then collection and then inst instant quotes so this is the overall the main page uh, that is uh, like if you want to uh, do anything so you can uh, check what you can do by, by the page so when you will click the about us page so this is uh, the total details who are behind uh, this mq database that is the online uh, drug discovery platform uh, and uh, these are the all information available at their website so if you have uh, like you have just logged in and you want to uh, to virtual screen your uh, a library against your target so or you want to uh, do the hit identification uh, if you have a structure so you will go with the structure based uh, virtual screening and if you have a ligand already you have a, a, a ligand and you want to get the more ligand uh, for the drug designing or or drug like compound so you can do both of them in the case of the structural based virtual screening if you have a structure of a molecule and you want to find out the hit against that structure so this will be called structure based uh, identification or structure virtual, virtual screening so uh, the structure uh, that means a protein structure okay or any 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 other structure that uh, uh, may be in the pdb form or any other form so uh, these are the tab so we are interested in today's lecture uh, about the structure based virtual screening so we will click over here so when uh, you will click over here so that will be open structure based virtual screening workflow builder so this is the the collection input collection the library uh, I have selected MQ purchasable for uh, all the molecules which are purchasable uh, available to purchase I have selected the full library if you want any library accordingly MQ purchasable in stock and virtual RO5 uh, uh, and uh, 
rule of five rule of five diverse and other filter are available uh, and you have also uh, NC, uh, NCI National Cancer Institute database that was released in October uh, 2014 release and other compound as well so there are many libraries uh, which you can select accordingly so I have selected the MQL purchasable full database you can uh, search the uh, new collection as well you can upload your own file from the S SDF format as well uh, smile file etc what what you if, if you have your own library so you can upload your own library as well and then you can uh, select your own uh, library uh, for the virtual sick clinic and next one is the uh, workflow uh, that is the basic property filter a basic property filter that is regarding your uh, compound uh, it means what sort of property you want in your uh, small molecule or hit compounds like component uh, maximum value minimum value uh, inorganic atoms how many inorganic item you want rotatable bonds how many you want uh, chiral centers how many you want uh, RO5 violation if you want zero violation then you can type over uh, uh, zero over here if you can't if you if you want one violation so uh, uh, about one or two violation uh, violation that uh, can be studied as well and then uh, that is that can be accordingly optimized as well uh, but uh, we will go with the one violation then heavy atoms minimum value 10 then no atoms that um, uh, minimum value 1 and maximum 15 rings minimum value when halogen atom 5 etc etc if you want a, the uh, another condition according to uh, your specific project or the specific molecule uh, the specific property you want to incorporate so you can do that so here you can change as well the the different if uh, i have selected the components you can select any of these uh, properties log p mass that you know that is regarding the uh, admitty properties so uh, you can you can uh, select the admitty properties uh, of the of the hit molecule as well uh, then the the this server will screen or will search out those compound which have, will have such type of properties so it is it you know this is uh, uh, under one roof uh, you have many things so it is a tremendous uh, uh, web server so which offer you all these things okay so here you can select uh, you can change the, the things accordingly it's it's uh, totally on your choice uh, what you want to do you can add you can delete the properties from the here if you will click the, uh, uh, the this cross sign this will the delete condition if you want to add delete uh, if to uh, want to add any condition it will uh, add it accordingly okay so <clears throat> next is the diver uh, sampler uh, make it default like here the make the default value go with that and then the diversity uh, uh, selection go with the no, uh, with the default as well here you can select uh, the uh, docking vena so this server they use the docking the the docking by the program of vena uh, of uh, vena algorithm they use uh, vena algorithm for the docking they will dock the the total compound by using autodock vena as well so you can select docking vena by here okay then uh, this is the <clears throat> this is the the selection select target or uh, upload a file you have if you have a pdb file of your target you have selected that and you have prepared so you can upload over here um, by choosing by click on the choosing the, if you have any pdb uh, file like this like any any file you have uh, or, or any target you want to choose so you you will have to to do like that then let's suppose I, I i choose this i have uploaded it then you will have to give the name uh, these are very important thing you will have to to give the uh, the grid as well uh, you you will have to you you must know where uh, at your protein you want to dock the compounds so the grid file that is very important and how, how you will you will be able to find the grid 
uh, you can uh, use many other tools like chimera like other things so you can find out the the grid as well like if uh, let me open it someone so for the grid uh, uh, you can watch my uh, earlier tutorial on the docking so you will be able to find out how you can find the grid and the values of the uh, center x y and z let's let let it is uh, like 20 it is 22 like it is 30 so that will be the grid then you will uh, if you will upload over here so that will be shown over here with with these uh, uh, binding sides or these uh, grid so uh, accordingly uh, when you will find out the grid and uh, you will upload the file it will be shown over here i have uh, uh, already uh, uploaded uh, this file with the grid uploaded this one is the grid uploaded this one as a uh, the file this is the, my uploaded file and uh, these are the files there are many many target as well if if you want uh, want to any specific target you want to select uh, you didn't upload anything uh, let me let me make it clear for you as, as well uh, this tab the select target uh, it 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 have the options if you want to get uh, select any target which has been prepared by the uh, the server as well so you can select that as well if you have your own target you you will have to upload the file or you click over here so then you can uh, select the things uh, like uh, this is the seminal ribonuclease uh, this is the gtpas this is the uh, phosphoglycerate kinase phosphoglycerate kinase etc uh, etc et there are many things dna ligase so uh, you can select the proteins accordingly you can select the target accordingly you can uh, select over here uh, here to to view in the uh, 3d so this is the 3d structure you can uh, scroll like that you can uh, check the binding side you can check the proteins uh, so so this is very tremendous very important if you want like uh, i want to uh, select the the thrombin structure and first i, I i'll have to uh, watch watch it in the 3d or i i want to view it uh, this is the pdb id of it this is the pdb id this is the the uniprot name of the protein and this is the uniprot accession id this is the taxonomic id and this is the organism that is homo sapien the resolution of the pdb is also available so uh, you 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 will have all these uh, specific target with the accurate uh, resolution and all the details so if you want to choose any like this is the protease uh there are many things carbonic anhydrase 2 they are very important carbonic anhydrase 2 the uh, this is the name this is the pdb id this is the uniprot id this is the taxonomic id this is the homo sapiens and then the resolution is 2.2 so if you want to check uh, the homo the carbonic anhydrase so this is the protein so uh, so uh, again this is the uh, uh the detail of uh, as well this is uh, like if you want to if you don't know about the binding sites so these are the x y and z coordinate as well that uh, is already given to you so you know this is this is tremendous this is just tremendous uh you you don't have to to do anything uh you just search your target if you find your target in the database so no need to do anything you can download in the pdbqt as well you know uh, autodoc vena uh, work on the pdbqt format so you can download the prepared file in the pdbqt if you want to uh, to to do to, to perform docking on the uh, vena and uh, and uh, by just using the vena program which you have installed your system so you can download the prepared file of the pdbqt uh, by here uh, this will be all these properties okay so you can select any any target or you you can upload uh, the target accordingly uh, about your need so i have uploaded uh, already as well there are many 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 uh, how many targets 9879 tar target it is showing to me currently i have as i have already uh, already uploaded my targets this is this was the my target uploaded minimized uh, for h9m
so this was this was a target which i have prepared by myself and then i have uploaded it so after uploading I, I i will have to select it and how you will upload i have already told you like that okay so then you will upload it and this is the uh, advanced option in which uh, you will have to to give the binding sites binding center you know this this is the binding center which i give i, I have given to it even you can uh, again select the binding site uh, center uh, by clicking this workflow like this is the the total proteins and the the total amino acids the the total are the all the uh, residue are checked over here if you will uncheck this that will be uh, disappear from the uh, you know like like this glutamine 288 uh, if i will uncheck it it will be where it is yes this is this is disappear you know this is, these are the going to disappear if you will uncheck any anyone it will be disappear so you can select uh, the residues uh, from here as well okay so where it is okay i'm going to again structure based will screening these are the properties i have i have to select the target so i am going to select this one okay so now this is selected minimized for h9m this is selected and this was the advanced option and you can uh, you can you can change it accordingly uh, vena parameter uh, the modes of the binding one exhaustiveness etc 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 so you can uh, add the workflow steps as well if you want to add more steps you can you can uh, select the steps exit search etc uh, you can uh, do it by your choice okay so after this you will have to just uh, click the run so when you will click the run over here it is showing some error okay so this is the error okay you know when i have clicked it this is the error because i have already done it for you the name is already used uh, already in use structure based will source screening the name of the that was the name of the project if i will change the name like i am giving the name it, to it by the like tutorial so this is the tutorial then it will run this oh my goodness yes so it is moving it is running so till zero entries etc etc it will be uh, accordingly uh, increasing increasing it is searching uh, with all you know th these are the properties with all these properties it is searching the compound it will take some time so after this okay here you will uh, you will find your jobs okay the name was a structure based with source screen which i have already uh, docked for you so when you will click over here so in this way it will show you the compounds so how many 963 compounds have been filtered uh, 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 along with the donor uh, sorry uh, uh, along with the docking vena score that is 7.7 .7, uh, and then this is again 7.7 .7, the uh, mql ids if you want to purchase it if you want to report it so these uh, this is the uh, uh, id and uh, accordingly you are you are looking and many 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 uh, structures and these are the properties basic property component rotatable bonds uh, basic ro5 violation there is zero violation okay so uh, in, in this compound there is one violation there is zero violation the basic property ring three rings uh, these are the three rings you can you can uh, see over here basic property rings and this is one two and three and three rings okay so accordingly there are four rings uh, the one two three and four rings so uh, in this way uh, you will you will have the properties as well and uh, you can just uh, click over here visualize the pose so it will be shown like that so this is the pawn this is your compound 
so uh, you can download the pdb you can take the screenshot so here you 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 have some instructions left click rotate right click to scroll zoom uh, control plus left click translate and control plus right click to to slam and, and the fork so that that you can you can change the protein surface and do anything and you can label the all residues as well this is the full screen and you can find out the interactions you can download this pose and uh, after downloading it you can uh, visualize the interaction as well you can uh, you can you can go to the tu uh, another tutorial of mine like uh, this is my channel there is you you will you will have an idea how to how we can analyze the results so this is the tutorial in which you will be able to find out uh, you will be able to find out how you will be able to uh, check the, the interaction and the uh, so, okay, okay. in this way like let me let me tell you how you can do it you can watch this tutorial in this tutorial I have uh, I have uh, you know uh, recorded the video or tutorial uh, about how you you will you will be able to find out the interactions in any doc post so in this way uh, while using the mql database you can do virtual screening and then you can report these compounds it is very easy to use no installation required no anything required you can directly you can directly uh, do anything so in the next uh, coming tutorial we will talk about the ligand based virtual screening and then lead optimization uh, this is very important feature one click docking if you have a one if if you want to compound uh, you want to dock uh, uh, a compound you if you have your own compound and you want to dock it uh, by the vena so and uh, if if you do not know about the software and installation the commands so you can just uh, uh, you can just use that one click docking as well you can draw uh, the compound like here uh, i have Uh, yes, I have clicked it. Zoom out. So this is uh, here. You can uh, you can uh, you can you can make your own compound. You can draw it, and then uh, you can use this uh, compound uh, for docking as well. And you can select a tar target accordingly. All other things are same. If you have your own compound, uh, you can click over here. You can uh, give uh, the the smiles ID and IUPAC name, or uh, uh, these IDs. You can uh, give it to it uh, to this input. If you want to draw it, you can draw it over here, and then you can accordingly upload your target and select a target. Then the one compound will be docked. If you if you have your own one compound and you want to dock it, you want to check it, so you can do you can use this uh, lead optimization one click docking. And if you want to virtual screen the structure based virtual screening, you can uh, use this workflow. So this was uh, uh, all about the virtual screening, uh, very important and uh, very important for tho for those who want to virtual screen their compound and who want to report um, a new compound or new hits uh, by using uh, autodoc vena so it is very important and accordingly you can uh, uh, report the their admi properties you can report their uh, their scores and uh, the, any uh, and other properties as well so this was all about the uh, structure based uh, virtual signaling uh, keep tuned for the next tutorial and if if you feel uh, i'm going good so please uh, comment and subscribe and share to other to promote flea learning Take care. Bye-bye.